हेलो एवरीवन टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज इंडक्शन मोटर एज जनरलाइज ट्रांसफार्मर इंडक्शन मोटर हैज टू पार्ट्स स्टेटर एंड रोटर स्टेटर इज द स्टेशनरी मेंबर वेर एज रोटर इज द रोटेटिंग मेंबर ऑफ इंडक्शन मोटर वेन एवर द स्टेटर ऑफ इंडक्शन मोटर इज एनर्जाइज बाय थ्री फेज सप्लाई अ रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज प्रोड्यूस द फेज सीक्वेंस ऑफ दैट थ्री फेज सप्लाई डिटरमाइंस द डिरेक्शन ऑफ रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड suppose rib is the phase sequence responsible for clockwise direction of rotation then rby would be the phase sequence responsible for the anti clockwise direction of rotation of rotating magnetic field rotor of the induction motor follows the rotating magnetic field that rotating magnetic field is nothing but stator magnetic field and the speed at which rotating magnetic field rotates is called as synchronous speed and synchronous speed is denoted by ns and it is given by ns is equals to 120 f by p where f is the supply frequency and p is the number of poles on stator the rotor rotates at sub synchronous speed sub synchronous speed is the speed which is slightly less than synchronous speed as there is a difference between synchronous speed and rotor speed slips comes into picture slip is the difference between synchronous speed and rotor speed expressed as a fraction of synchronous speed s is equals to ns minus nr whole divided by ns as we have seen the equation of synchronous speed that is ns is equals to 120 f by p which is our equation number 1 and the equation of slip s is equals to ns minus nr whole divided by ns we can rearrange the equation of slip therefore ns divided by ns tends to 1 minus nr divided by ns we get this equation then again rearranging this equation we can bring this one to left hand side therefore the equation modifies as 1 minus s is equals to nr by ns then multiplying this ns to the left hand side we get in bracket 1 minus s multiplied by ns is equals to nr and this is our equation number 2 then as we know rotor frequency is equals to slip times the stator frequency therefore this is our equation number 3 where fr is the frequency of alternating current flowing in the rotor circuit whereas fs is the frequency of alternating current flowing in the stator circuit and s is the slip these are our three equations now the speed of rotor magnetic field as we know that the speed of rotating magnetic field that is synchronous speed is given by ns is equals to 120 f by p here f is the supply frequency that means the frequency of that means the frequency of alternating current flowing in the stator circuit whereas fr is the frequency of alternating current flowing in the rotor circuit as we are taking magnetic field of rotor we are taking fr therefore by substituting the value of equation 3 that is the value of fr in the above equation we get 120 times s f s whole divided by p then rearranging the term we get s times the synchronous speed therefore actual speed of rotor magnetic field is the addition of rotor speed that is equation number 2 and the speed of rotor magnetic field that is equation number 4 therefore substituting the values we get 1 plus s whole multiplied by ns plus s time ns multiplying this ns in the bracket we get ns into 1 is ns minus s times ns and this plus s times ns this minus s ns plus s ns get cancelled out and ns remains therefore the actual speed of rotor magnetic field equals to the synchronous speed 
and synchronous speed is the speed of rotating magnetic field that is stator magnetic field therefore the speed of rotor magnetic field and stator magnetic field is equal as the speed of stator magnetic field and rotor magnetic field is equal they are traveling with the same speed therefore there is no relative speed difference between the stator and rotor magnetic field hence we can assume them stationary with respect to each other and this is similar to transformer hence induction motor is also called as rotating transformer hope so you guys understood thank you